Turns out the print bed is actually kind of warped, so if I keep it in this orientation, uh, the magnets will pull it flat. It's a bit concave. It's concave down. But if I flip it over, like so, then you can see on this end here, it actually comes up a little bit. So you can see it from the side. See, it's like well above the bed. So I actually want it to be this way when the print goes. Uh-oh, that doesn't look good. Let's see if this actually works. I think it might say something like triggered too high. Because when it poked here, the bed actually moved up and down. And if I remove this completely, it still works. Uh, the Z probe still works on the, the normal print bed. So, worst case scenario, all I have to do is remove the print bed and then everything will work like normal. Okay, we're starting out. Uh, this time, an actual real print it looks like it's, it's like it's working its way so this print uh, that I'm testing out with is a 3d ren 3d print of my brain um, and a friend of Aaron's brain I'm gonna let it go for a few hours and I've already printed it I just want to see how well it can be printed on this removable print bed it seems to be working so working, except I have to keep the bed flipped this way instead of this way. And so I guess I can mark one side and say that that's the side that should be up. Um, and hopefully I will be able to improve that so I can do it on both sides. I think I will. Um, I can do, I'm not sure if it'll have an effect, but I can do a slightly thicker piece of metal here. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how magnets work. Um, I could do more magnets. I could do a thinner PEI sheet so that it's closer to the magnet. Um, and maybe I could do something like embedding, like drilling little holes into the printed circuit board and then uh, putting magnets in those little holes and then it, the magnets would be even closer to the, the metal. All right, that's it.